Steve, this is Lucas, my videographer. Today I'm gonna bring you on a shoot with Max Clemenko. We've been working together for almost two years shooting all sorts of videos. And today I thought it'd be interesting to show you a little bit of the process and how we go about making those videos. So it is currently 7.30 in the morning and Max has sent me a text last night at 3.45 a.m. We're gonna be shooting with strangers, which is something we've been doing quite often in the past few months. Together we made over 300 videos, from asking 100% discount for coffee, brand wars, and interviewing strangers on the street. I've been a filmmaker for years now, and I've done a lot of projects throughout my career, but working with Max has definitely been one of the most challenging things I ever had to do. Every day is different, and trust me when I tell you that we've been through all types of situations. We've got you on the camera and we need to find out what's going on. The thing about filming with Max is that it's never about the quantity, it's never about like getting as many videos or as much as possible. The goal is always to get the highest quality. Most of the stuff that we film doesn't make into the videos because we're so particular about the quality of what it comes out. And I think that's one of the key points of what makes the videos so great. But today we're gonna do something a little bit different. I usually shoot on this camera, which is a Canon R6, but today I'm gonna to be shooting on a Red Komodo. First time we use Rode Wireless Go 2 microphones. Usually we'll film in vertical, so we can optimize for the sensor, making it the best image possible. But because this camera is a little bit different, I'm considering if maybe it's worth shooting horizontal. Also allow us to have both Max and the Stranger in a shot. Okay, I mean, I not that I can tell a difference between anything. We usually start the day off by catching up. We'll talk about what's been happening and then we kind of lead into what we're gonna be doing today. Sometimes Max has a couple of meetings before we go out and shoot. Hi there, this is Max. We, we made a video together. I, I tried to guess your job. If we're shooting in the studio, this is the setup that we usually arrange. We have this backlight, a backup light, and a make key. Looks cool, right? Guaranteed. Bro, why are you making these sounds? Once we're ready to go, you usually fill up on caffeine and we hit the road. We're doing a, um, a study on like certain types of careers. The search commences. In a video at a time, we really grown. We took his YouTube channel from 10K to over a million subscribers. And because of the fast feedback that you get from posting so much. Nice awesome, you, thank you. Thank you. You can always read into the views, the comments, and how people are interacting with the content. Which meant we were always working improving the videos as fast as possible. And Max himself has a unique approach to videos, where he's always following his instinct and allowing situations to develop. That's where we find a lot of the gold in the videos. Between the interaction with the strangers, there's no uncomfortable conversations with Max. Uh, this is Lucas, my videographer. So we're finished with the filming. We usually head back to the studio. We'll check if there's anything else we want to do, if he needs me for anything else, or if he is busy with other things, I'll pack my things and head home. At home, I'll usually upload all the files for our editor to start working. Yeah. 